I've always had a curiosity when it comes to virtual reality. When I was a kid, I used to imagine a day when we could literally be transported into our favorite gaming worlds and experience everything we could ever imagine right in front of us. Well, the closest thing to that we have now is VR. It's pretty much the best way to exist in the worlds of your favorite video games from your home. And wouldn't you believe it, Skyrim is one of those games. I've known about Skyrim VR for a long time, and I've always had an itch to try it, but the price tag is pretty daunting. Thankfully, I was able to give it a shot because of today's sponsor, you guys. No joke, you guys literally made this video possible just from watching my content, and I can't thank you enough for the support. I love making these videos, and I'm so glad you like them too. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy my review of Skyrim VR. I was feeling pretty skeptical about how my experience would go right from the beginning. While I've discussed Skyrim's introduction so many times before, being able to feel like I was literally sitting in the prison wagon about to get my head chopped off was pretty awesome. Already I could tell that I would be experiencing one of my favorite games in a whole new perspective. But as much as it pains me to say it, the intro in VR is actually kind of worse than the original game. I know that might sound strange, but for a lot of the scenes where your character is supposed to be moving, they just jump cut ahead and it became pretty jarring. I get why they broke these scenes up because it would probably make anybody motion sick from all the movements, but it did take me out of the immersion a bit. I know it's not great to start on a sour note, but trust me, the experience only went up from there. From that point on, you're free to play the game however you like. Finally leaving Helgen has always been a very freeing moment, but I can't describe just how breathtaking the land of Skyrim is in VR. I probably spent the first 20 minutes just looking at all the flowers and taking the sights along the path to Riverwood. Suddenly you become so much more aware of all of the little details Skyrim has to offer, and it truly feels like you're seeing the game for the first time again. Another thing I noticed right out of the gate was the sheer scale of Skyrim. You don't actually realize how big everything is until it's right in front of you. Seeing Bleak Falls Barrow on the distant mountains blew my mind, and when my curiosity took me closer, I really felt like an ant compared to the giant structures above me. Honestly, the land of Skyrim is so visually stunning that it was difficult to get anything done without getting sidetracked by the beautiful skies. My first day in VR was spent entirely in Riverwood because I found myself wanting to absorb everything I could. I did all of the smithing quests, spent some time chopping wood, and even stayed at the local inn. It's so easy to get sucked in while in VR, and that's why I think the visuals are definitely the best part of the game. Walking through the fields of Whiterun at night with this gigantic moon looming over and that unforgettable Jeremy Soul soundtrack is a gaming experience that I probably will never forget. And with a few added visual mods, it's kind of insane how hard it was to set the virtual world apart from reality. I know this might all sound cheesy, but after spending years deeply invested in the world of Skyrim, actually being there left me speechless. But how about the combat? In classic Skyrim, battling with a sword is still pretty fun, but in VR you actually have to swing your arms around like a madman. I can only imagine what it would look like if somebody walked in on me during an intense fight but under the headset, you really feel like a badass. I think that melee weapon combat is definitely the weakest of the fighting styles, which kind of surprised me. You don't really need to be precise at all. If an enemy runs up, all you need to do is wiggle your hands around a bit instead of actually swinging. But I ended up really liking the archery. Pulling back a bowstring with both my hands reminded me a lot of old Wii games, but it feels so fine-tuned and accurate. I rarely ever hit anything because I suck at it right now, but I think with a little more practice, archery could be my thing. Unleashing your inner wizard is super fun too. I like using fire spells because they're super chaotic, but it's also kind of fun just standing in the corner of a tavern and doing this with your hand. Taking on giant monsters can be pretty terrifying because they really get all up in your face, but it also feels super rewarding overcoming these challenges. I was super worried about taking on a giant spider for the first time, but I only cried twice. Overall, Skyrim VR's combat is much more fine-tuned than I expected, and it's really a lot of fun if you actually commit to it. So most of the base game stuff is all well and good, but if we're talking about Skyrim, you know we gotta talk about some of the mods. Most of the original special edition mods are also compatible with the VR version, so obviously I had to try out some of my favorites, but it's the mods that are unique to VR that are truly something special. 
The first one I tried was a mod that actually fixed a lot of the issues I had with the original melee combat from the base game. It's called VR Combat Enhance, and it basically makes you stop doing the VR equivalent of button mashing. Now you actually have to make full swings with your arms to do any damage, and it makes more of a difference than you might think. Plus I got this really cool mod called Sky UI, which is particularly helpful in VR because going through the settings, screens, and menus can feel pretty disorienting at times. If you want to hear more about some of my favorite classic Skyrim mods, make sure to check out my top 10 down in the description. Also, if you want to hear more about Skyrim VR mods, definitely let me know in the comments. Skyrim has always been a way to escape for me, especially when I want to break out of reality and just go on a good old fashioned adventure. VR changed pretty much everything for me. I can't put into words how breathtaking it truly is to be inside the world that I had dreamed of exploring since I was a kid. Now, is VR the best way to experience Skyrim? Well, as much as it enhances the feeling that made me fall in love with Skyrim in the first place, I'm not sure that I was willing to give the classic version up so easily. For now, VR is definitely the most obvious choice when it comes to being fully immersed in the world, but I gotta say, there's really nothing quite like the version that started it all. Either way, I'll be coming back to Skyrim VR for the chill nights walking the Whiterun fields and the moments that make me truly feel like a dragonborn. Hey, thanks so much for watching. This video would have never been possible without you guys, so I really appreciate all the support on my videos. You guys have made me feel so proud to be a part of this community, and I'm glad I can share my experiences with all of you. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing because not only does it help out the channel, but it also shows how much the love for Skyrim continues to grow even 10 years later. Keep gaming to the fullest, thanks a ton for everything, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.